thanks for checking out our channel today. What we're we'll looking at is a 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500 with a Z71 pack. This vehicle was built for a fire inspector that also responds to um, calls for service. The vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint multiplex electrical system. Up front we have a Centina PV400. Our warning lights are going to be sound off signal 4 inch M powers. These are going to be dual color. These provide a white override feature for takedown and seam lighting. We also have a headlight flasher installed that is currently on park built. Up on the vehicle we have a sound off signal enforced light bar. This light bar is also in dual color to so provide front and side seam lighting. On the mirror we have sound off signal dual color M powers. These also have the white override feature for an alley function. So now we have the vehicle in drive mode. What this added is our flashing headlights and then we've added flashing white into all the front warning lights. Also in the mirror and then we've also changed our light bar pattern. Everything will automatically shut off flashing white, the pattern will go back to normal once the vehicle is put back into drive. And this is another feature that the blueprint electrical system with the in-link allows you to add more safety to your vehicle without needing to tie into the factory signals. So some other added safety features that we've added this, to this vehicle is for side warning, we've added a sound off signal deck grill in red amber. This light provides sideboard facing warning when the vehicle is responding. And then when the door is open, it's also providing more warning. On the door here, to help provide additional warning, we've added a dual color sound off signal hideaway LED. This light serves as two functions. It's flashing amber white right now when the warning lights are on. And then when we turn the warning lights off, it's going to provide a steady white seam light. Now with the warning lights off, we can see that the white's now providing white illumination. And that helps allow them to see what equipment they have and any ground lighting that they may need. This is also tied into the in-link system, so anytime any one of the doors of the car open, only that light will turn on. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we've installed sound off signal hideaway LEDs. These lights also have additional functions built into them. The white goes on steady when you put the car in reverse to provide additional scene lighting, and the red goes steady on when the brake is on, and then they also shut off when the turn signal's on so that somebody's following you behind, they can see that you're turning and braking. What we've done too is, with the drop of the tailgate, we've installed strip lights onto the back of their toolbox. This provides additional illumination to the bed area. And then also what we've done with the blueprint system is we've tied in the cargo lights to turn on the bed lights so that way that if they're driving, they can also provide additional seam lighting to the bed area without having to get out of the car and drop the tailgate. So one thing that this customer requested is that we remove the back seat from the vehicle and we build a cabinet in the back that they can store their gear their, and their other equipment in the back of the vehicle. So without making any modifications to the vehicle, we designed. So what we've done with this vehicle is we've provided them with an area for their gear storage, their SCBA. We've given them a very, a very large drawer and it helps keep everything organized. They can put toolboxes, whatever they may need in it. On the driver's side of the vehicle, you can see that we have storage for their SCBA. They also have large area for their gear. They can also store their extinguisher into the compartment that we've cut into it. And then you can see that the large storage drawer here is deep and provides them additional storage depth-wise. Alright, so on the passenger side of the truck, we've given them areas that they can mount additional tools. So they can they have their flashlight chargers, you can mount Knox boxes, you can mount your irons, you can mount more water cans, uh, and still providing you plenty of storage space for whatever else, along with another drawer also in the compartment. From access getting from the driver's area, we have three large open cubbies that they can put binders, they can store helmets, um, they can store any other small tools that they may have, and then it's secured in there with this seatbelt strap. Our 2019 Chevy Silverado console. This one was designed specifically for this customer. It gives them a large map area, a locking storage compartment. We have cup holders, the radio, and then we have a 12 volt USB charger. And then we've also recessed the speaker into the driver's side of the console. Up top, what we've done is since we've utilized most of the space for their other equipment, we mounted their uh, blueprint controller to the headliner. We painted the bracket to match the headliner and then we bolted it up here to give them easy access to the controls while they're driving. The key to any emergency vehicle is to make things as serviceable as possible. We don't want to be hiding fuse panels, fuse holders, breakers anywhere, and we want to have a direct distribution for our power separate from the factory's electrical system. So on all our vehicles, within close proximity to the battery, we're installing a circuit breaker as a main disconnect as a safety procedure. 
and then we're also installing our remote node system for our blueprint system in an easy accessible location and this is done with a removable panel so that if something were to need service that can be removed very easily serviced and then put back to the car and it doesn't require any disassemble and you can see on this vehicle we put a breaker for the main warning system we have the breaker for the jumper panel that's on the front bumper and then we have our headlight flasher and we have our remote node fuse if you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.